hello there i hope you are doing good and uh, in today's video we are going to make this beautiful project and basically this is a wall clock as you can see and this is a dynamic wall clock dynamic means i mean to say that if you change the size up from here like if you just increase the size or decrease the size just width and the height so it will increase the size of everything and the hands the height and width of the hands and everything okay so without any delay let's start our project i am in the folder and let's create a new folder with a uh, wall clock enter this folder and in this folder what i will do i will pick the picture from here uh, the picture i have used in the clock open this with code and create a new file of index let's just make a file of index.html i'm using vs code so i will just paste the snippet code snippet using uh, using emit okay wall clock give the title main and in main we will have just three of our hands div dot uh, second hand and dot hand and we don't have to put anything in it div dot min hand dot hand and just change it from here to our hand and we need a circle div div dot circle and in here we also need a div dot inner circle inner circle why i'm making these two classes the circle and the inner circle these are the these two ones the red circle and the inner circle so we could give um, a beautiful circle inside the clock okay so let's see what's up here till now go live and our project is up here we have nothing to see yet right let's go and create our css file i'm just linking the uh, my css and creating my css from up here follow the link create the file just save it from here and add the universal selector and to do, do, do margin zero padding zero box sizing border what the hell box shadow sorry box sizing border box and uh, that's it i'm not going to use anything else than this so what basically we are going and doing this is our body and we are making our main as a flex item so we have to give display flex to the body and justify content center align item center let me zoom in and we still have nothing to see let's just add background color and the same color i will pick up is rgb uh, let's just give it black the way i always choose i just go from here and choose a bit lighter one okay so let's give its width 100 percent and height 100 vh this is a good practice to give even mm, the body is just going to take this but if we specify then we don't get mm, scroll bar let's add our main and to do with uh, let's say 400 pixels uh, 300 pixels would be enough pixel and height would be 300 pixels too and background image url the same i am using up here this is the image i'm going to use basically so lock.png as you can see this is giving me the hints why it is giving me the hints become because i'm using the extension extension up here and the extension is uh, path intelligence this is the extension i'm using so it uh, gives me the uh, hint where i am basically going so 
as you can see it is telling me that you have three two files log.png and style.css so i can easily pick this up if we see our project as you can see the image is not fitted in uh, do we want that basically we don't really want that so what we want we want to move that image to the center so what we will do uh, background uh, position center so it will move the center now it is the center of the image but you can't see because the image is too big so there is another property background size we will make it cover so what does the cover do it push all the image into the frame okay it tries to push all the image into the frame and as we are using a scare image so it will push the image into the scare okay now we just have to add border radius 50% so it will make a scare or circle sorry border radius 50% so it will make the uh, circle now let's add hand dot hand how I'm picking that I'm picking the dot hand class it is in everything up here dot hand uh, width of 1% and height of i'm giving that in percent so i could change dynamically everything if i just decrease the size from here this will become three uh, if i just in decrease the size to 300 pixels then it will become three pixel now it is 400 pixels so it is four pixel that's how it is taking that so just do it like 40 percent and uh, background color will be let's say red just for the moment let's see where is that okay it's up here but as you can see it is taking the 50% of the body do we want that nope we don't want that we want to make it uh, uh, relative to the main so we are giving position relative to the main and uh, we are giving position absolute to the hands so they will take the 50% of this one 40% of this one okay let's move it from here to here okay and trans uh, top 50 percent and left 50 percent oh we did not want it to move it we want to move it up okay so what we will give transform translate minus 50 percent and minus 50 percent no minus not 50 percent minus 100 percent because we want to move it 100 percent on the vertical side so it is in the right center and what we have to do do you make it a bit less ready so it could look fine no that is too less okay 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 it looks fine now let's add border radius border radius five pixels our second hand is done let's add um, styling to the min hand minute hand okay its height would be 30 percent would be enough no nope. 32 let's say 32 percent and uh, background color that would be rgb this one okay the same as the background of the body and dot or hand uh, height will be 27 percent and background color will be the same as of the body let's see okay they are looking fine now we just have to add a circle here and then we have to rotate them because as you can see there is a circle up here right so let's add a circle up here to add that circle as i gave make this div dot circle let's add dot circle and to do, do, do position absolute top 50 percent left 50 percent transform translate minus 50 percent minus 50 percent by the way there is a shorthand of them to translate minus 50 percent and minus 50 percent you don't have to write that full okay we did not specify the width and the height width let's say three percent oh no 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 
five percent of the outer outer uh, outer circle and height will also be five percent and uh, background color will be same as the rg of the um, second hand okay it looks fine now we just have to give the border radius border radius five percent let's just add a uh, dot inner circle two inner circle will be the same thing but the only difference will be the uh, height and the width and the size border radius 50 percent okay now just add a uh, bit styling to the inner circle we just have to decrease the height and the width height and width setting that to three percent and uh, background color sorry background color will be rgba the same as the body boom they are good to go we are good to go basically okay the second has done minute head is done over and everything is done now we just have to rotate okay the rotation is even easy than that uh, so without making a separate javascript file what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, give the style in up here uh, let's add a function set interval so what this function does we can set the interval after that time it will run it uh, again and again uh, okay we are saying that after every 1000 millisecond here it takes the parameter as a milliseconds okay so if you want to uh, give something else you can do like one second two it will do the same so but i'm giving giving in uh, numbers 100 milliseconds which is equal to one second so what you have to do first of all create a variable oh sorry constant with name of now new which will be the object of the date so why are, why are we making the object of the date because we want to get that uh, seconds hours and minutes of the um, right now time okay again and again and again so what this returns us it returns us a lot of methods as you can see up here now dot uh, get date get the full year or everything a lot of stuff related to date and calendar and stuff like that so we can use this object to make our clock let's make variables right const sec hand is equal to document dot get element by id sorry query selector and dot uh, do, 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 sec hand dd okay here min hand okay we can't use hyphen in the javascript naming convention our hand and here we will just change to min i always make a mistake when i try to <laughs> type fast <laughs> so we'll choose here so what if we just put it out of that in the script tag because we don't want to uh, select every time we do some stuff okay we have to put this in the internal because we want to get the time with present or present time again and again and again so we are putting this in but we are putting these variables outside of the internal so it does not have to get every time the element from the dome again and again okay i hope you get that now we just have to rotate sec hand dot style dot rotate equal to and using the back ticks because we want to use the variables why we are we trying to use a variable because we want to get the seconds get seconds this is a function and we want to cross that with six what are we basically doing up here uh, let me make you clear calculator okay as you can see uh, how much degrees are in a circle 360 okay there are 360 degrees so how much seconds are there in a minute there are 60 seconds let's just divide them so how much do we get we basically get six okay so what does that mean we want to move six degree every time a second increases that's it we want to move six degree every time a second increases so that's what we are doing up here oh my gosh 
why it is not working let me test that really oh oh oh, oh. i forgot to add degree up here the unit oh my gosh do we want that <laughs> no we don't really want that so what we have to add we have to add transform origin property into the um, hand okay we have to add transform origin bottom and center so what it will do it will move from what the hell is going on so what was basically happening that uh, this property is not working fine the um, one which i just commented out i don't know why it is not working let me show you too when i comment this out and <laughs> uncomment this you can see it's up here why the hell is that happening i think i'm making a mistake but i can't see transform translate minus 50 percent from the x and minus 100 percent from the y but if i do the same thing while using this this comes to the center and if i just <laughs> uncomment this and put it down and this happens what the hell is happening and when I put it up, like these both are the same things, just the syntax is different, but I don't know why that is not working and that is working fine. Let's just use that, the one which is working for us right now. I'll figure out why this is not working. I think this is becoming abs obsolete now because this is the fastest way to do the stuff. Maybe, maybe, I think so. Okay let's just add the second property and which is oh, min hand style dot rotate get seconds no not get seconds get minutes okay and here we have the minute hand to 18 minutes right 18 minutes now we just have to add uh, uh, to the our hand and how we can add that uh, we will add uh, uh, our hand dot style dot rotate equal to uh, dollar now dot get r's there is a function of get r's to cross now what we will put it up here 360 divided by 12 how much it give us 30 we just have to put 30 up here that's it okay now boom it's 6 6 19 and the clock is done I hope you like the project and you can do this uh, fun stuff with the by making digital cloak here too and we need that sometimes in our projects i hope you like that and i'll see you in the next one